<laughs> I, hello? I was going to do the interview and then she dropped out at the last minute. You know, either way, I wouldn't expect you to censor anything. I mean, that is the whole point of doing this. Mm -hmm. um, a few things I would like to address, though. Her eyes are different than mine. Yes. Um, there are some things I can't subscribe to, is it mainly the torture. You know, that's something that we don't do. Mm -hmm. Other beings, yes. And do I believe she's another type of being? Yes, very much so. But as far as the matrix and torment and the spreading of this information is what she also addressed, you know, that is also true. I mean, look at all the negative publicity out there about the reptilian species as a whole. Yeah. So um, what species would you say she was? That I would have to look into. I'm not familiar with star-eyed beings. Well, we've already addressed the reptilian races, the Nagini, Saurian, yeah. Alpha Draconian, mm -hmm. and hybrids. Yes. And hybridization of the Alpha Draconian DNA to create the chameleon, which as you know is George and the Dragon. Yeah. Um, there are humanoid species as well. There's Arcturians, Atlanteans, um, Procyons. I mean, there's there's numerous. I mean, we could actually make a just one entire episode discussing each of the attributes of each different type of species out there. Um, okay, so we have the Bootians. They are a reptilian species. They come from the constellation Boots. No, they are malevolent. They're not in the game for, you know, benefiting anyone but themselves. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Obviously, the Alpha Draconians. The Greys, there are an insectoid race and a humanoid race. You would refer to these as the Old Greys or the Long Greys. They usually have an extended neck, very thin, long limbs. Um, they have a very ugly scowl of a mouth, right. but they are scientists. The small greys, which everyone is used to, are in league with the Alpha Draconians. They are the ones that go in between because they aren't allowed here. They are the ones that, they're the mediators. They do speak to our governments. Right. Yeah, the Pleiadians, they are very ancient and very wise they like to assist but only at a minimum there are a total of 14 that interact with us however there's many more than that in the universe right. some that aren't considered a part of the gfl and live you know into themselves so can i ask you mel do you believe in god yes i do and is it the same God we believe, uh, the Christian God? Yes. Well, every individual is free to choose their own path. Right. Some choose the old ways. Others choose to be, you know, in a more modern setting. Right. So is Scientology anything to do with Sarbians? Uh... No. <laughs> what about Mormons? Because Mormons believe in an under, in civilization underground, don't they? They do. Uh, and can you tell us a bit about their prophet? Uh, the prophet. John. Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. Yeah. He's an interesting person. Can you tell us about him? Well, he speaks of an angel named Moroni. And Moroni gave him these golden plates, and only he could use the language to read. And I gave you a copy of that language. Yes. Now, he was imbued with the knowledge to understand it. However, no one else would. He took that information and was able to transcribe it into the Book of Mormon. So... 
how did he come across that information? It was given to him. By the Sarnets? Maros. By who, yes. sorry? Sorry, can you just repeat that? Because I spoke it over you. Oh, yes. What was his name? Mer, Mer what? Moroni. Moroni. Right. And what? who was Moroni, for people who don't know? Moroni was the angel that descended from a column of light and passed the knowledge on to Joseph Smith. He was open and seeking. Once you open yourself up consciously and seek a higher realm of knowledge, you become a beacon. Do you know anything about the Pope? Is he a Saurian or a hybrid? No. Uh, but the Vatican, uh, do they have a lot of Saurians in there or do they... No. So, to, are they like you're the devil stay away is that how they think very closed minded well not so necessarily closed minded they are well aware however they do not wish to share that seat of power uh, I mean think about it the entire you know Christian doctrine is you are the only beings in the universe if they were to bring in other beings from different parts of the universe, that entire doctrine collapses. So if they knew all this, because obviously the people who wrote the Bible and everything, they knew the true history. Or did they yeah, not? Yeah, that's why the books were chopped out of the original canon. So was they aware of the Saurians? Why, why did they hide all that information? Well, in some books it's still available. What books are that? In Deuteronomy. It's, inv it's available. It speaks specifically about the GER that are, you know, and the rules that apply to them. Right. So we spoke about Switzerland in the past. Uh, I don't know if you're aware about it, but on the Swiss banknote, there is a reptilian uh, face on it. Are you aware of that? No, I'm not. West note, there is a grey. Right. Yeah, the Kappa, they used to hang around ponds and streams and used to drag people in and stuff like that. Yes. Can you explain them? What Were they hybrids? This was a modification of the, de the genome yeah. for Alpha Draconians, just as a chameleon. Right. You, know, you can modify things to suit a need if one of the biggest... Uh, pitfalls of the kappa was they had to be moist all the time. Yeah. They even had an indentation in their skull. If the water tipped out of their skull, they would go to sleep. Right. So, is there anything else that's been engineered that might have escaped and could be a danger to us? Today, no. We've spoke about Alexander the Great in the past, mm -hmm. uh, and apparently he had. A, um, assistance from UFOs. Did you know about that? And can you tell us what race that would have been? Honestly, it wouldn't be UFOs. It would be craft. Yeah. And being of Saurian descent would be cigar shaped, mm -hmm. kind of metallic with red lights. The triangular shapes that people tend to see, especially over the Midwest here in the United States, are of government construct with borrowed technology. So did the Nazis have a saucer? They attempted. However, they couldn't exceed five feet off the ground. Yes. And it was more derived off of a, uh, what do you call this? It can, it's like a boat, but it can go on land and water. Hover, Hydrofoil. A hovercraft. Hovercraft. Yes. It was more along the lines of a, of a hovercraft, where it expelled air. That's a British invention. Have humans colonized into space? Have we colonized any planets? You've attempted to colonize the moon, but were politely asked to leave. As far as you've gone is the ISS space station. 
well. They're not hiding any secret colonies on Mars. <laughs> um, slavery claims by Alex Jones and that's CNN. Uh, NASA have had to come out and deny the claims. You go to work, correct? Yes. You view them as the salt mines of Egypt or the slave pits mm -hmm. because you go there, you work all day, you come home and you're absolutely wore out. Yes. Same view. You're there to do a job. You do it. You're not too keen about it. But by no means are you a slave race. Yeah, but they've been taken. I take it they've been taken from her. Um, been taken and smuggled to Mars. A collaboration with the military. Cloning technology exists and, and everything like that. Why don't they just clone people? instead of taking people from Earth? Well, if you make a copy of something so many times, there's errors in the preceding copies. Well, you could sign a deck statement and be done with it. However, when the military says you must move, you will move. You sign that contract, you are property of the government. I mean, they're asking for space marines now. They try to recruit space marines. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. So what's this for? Well, when you establish a new colony, this could be anywhere. What's the first thing you establish? Defense. Bingo. So, if we were kicked off the moon, why are we allowed on Mars? Mars isn't occupied. And the moon is. Yes. Like you say, the Saurians. It's an observation base. No, it is It is a planetoid. It was actually created from Terra. You know, during the early times, it was sheared off during the formation of the universe. There were many heavenly bodies. And those bodies collided into one another. Well, the one that collided into Terra, you know, proto-Terra, sheared off a section of that, it coalesced, and that became the moon. Right. Humans on Mars? Yes. So why didn't you want to tell us that? Because of reasons. <laughs> Is do you think you'd be putting people in danger? Yes. Outside the parameters of Terra are a whole different set of rules. Who sets the rules? It's the Wild West out there. Right. So, obviously they were taken from Earth. So, how many people are on Mars at the minute? Honestly, I cannot say that. And what they're setting up, is it a new civilization? Is it, are they trying to colonize it for save humanity? I wouldn't say to save humanity. More like save sections of humanity. Is this anything to do with uh, Planet X, Nibiru? No, not really, but Nibiru is real. However, it will not affect you in your lifetime. You may see earthquakes and superstorms, but other than that, actual knocking Terra out of its orbit, it, it's way off. So if Mars has been colonized, <laughs> is there any others that you... Well, it has been colonized as of yet. It is in progress. Do they have to do any, um, what do you call it, when the... Um change the atmosphere. Terraforming. Terraforming. Do, you, do they have to do any of that? If they want to live outside, yes. However, I don't believe that that is the point of it. I believe that everything will be underground. So, 
do we have really advanced uh, military technology in space? Because what would the space marines be doing? Like, Establishing a defensive position. Uh, and again, you would send a defense up first because you wouldn't want to send your scientists and your learned to be at the mercy of others, now would you? Wouldn't it be like an ant setting up an ant hill right next to an ant eater? Pretty much. So why would you spend all that money? People and money are a, uh, a paradox. They seek it all the time, but yet when they receive it, their logic seems to go out the window. I suppose it's just a test. I suppose the people who come up with the idea are not on Mars, so they don't, they don't care what happens to the people, do they? They're just testing out to see if they can push that far. Like That's the it, way it was. I mean, you know, during the colonial times. Exactly. That's, this is our what, rulers yeah. sent ships of people over to the New World. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard of this, Mel, but there's a story in Mayan civilization um, about when the Spanish came to take over. Um, they came with a flag of the serpent. When the Aztec leader, see, or the Mayan leader, seen the flag and seen the serpent, it was told in their civilization that this is the end of their civilization when they seen the serpent. Well, they also took into the fact that those beings that arrived on their shores were differently colored than they were. Right. They looked completely different. Do you mean them being white? Mm -hmm. Yes, right. That's right. So it was almost like an alien invasion. But obviously, they carried you... weapons of that were unheard of by their own people. Do you know why the Spanish had the the snake in their flag? I do not. But I do know it's also in the Mexican flag today. Mm -hmm. The South American culture about um, there was a tribe guarding um, an underground passage to um, an underground realm, and some British people came and they did an expedition down the hole and never came back. And then, as the legend goes, that they was then relieved of their duties of the gatekeepers, the tribe. Have you ever been to any of these entrances? Two. And have you entered? I know not to without escort. Right. How would you get entrance? How would you, would you be able to get entrance or not? I would have to petition to do so. What about a human? Unlikely. No chance. Like I said, highly unlikely. What about the leaders? Not impossible. Not I mean, impossible. The leaders must go down there. Human yes. leaders, yes. No. But only in the uppermost chambers, and they're usually underneath the cities. Um, a lot of truckers and suppliers will use these tunnels to go back and forth you know, hundreds of miles, to connecting from city to city. Look in Russia. The deepest hole ever dug by humans is in Russia. Yeah. Start your search there. Is there an entrance at the North Pole? Yes. Well, if an army comes there, they're usually ran off. We saw this case with the Nazis. Yeah. However, someone who is genuinely lost, you know, they're not going to be attacked. They will be assisted. Um, and also, um, so the Nazis don't have a base in Antarctica now? No. Right. Well, we can talk about um, the hybrid Ania. Yeah, talk about her. Well, we did talk on Saturday, and she was, we had a wonderful conversation. Um, there were things that really concerned me about what she had said because most of her input was of fear and of torment and you know disbelief 
there's things I listen to and there's things that I just could not agree with. Um, one thing she was worried about the protection of her offspring and herself, which I completely understand. I'm in that same boat myself. You know, I suggested that she mask her number using an app. She also was worried about she has no income. I suggested, hey, you can do this. You can do anything. You can do shirts online like I do. I mean, it's nothing, you know, gargantuan. It's nothing grand, but it's a place to get your creative outlet out there and make a little bit of money off of it. Yeah, but it was more about what the <clears throat> what the T-shirt said. Oh, I grow weary of your shit human. Yeah. So. Yes, but there's a duality to everything. Yeah, in World War Two and stuff. I get tired of asking or hearing the same question over and over and over again. Yeah. But then, at the same time, I also made another one to balance out. said, the eyes are useless if the mind remains closed. Um, I can't subscribe to the matrix theory that she claims she sees. There are means where the government can interface directly with people, and we see that every day. Electronics are the biggest thing. You have a camera and a microphone. Anybody who has the knowledge can access that. You know, these things are everywhere. They're in your phone. You carry around freely every day. You know, people talk about being tracked or... Um, what is it? Spiked. We do this freely. You know, the biggest war on humanity is commercialism. You have a proverbial carrot in front of someone, and you're like, oh, if you just do this, you can have this. Well, you go to work, you live to work. You don't work to live anymore. People are constantly drawn to that, that carrot, thinking that eventually they're going to get it. They never do. You know, back in the 50s, one person could go to work from 9 to 5 and support his entire family and household and have room for, you know, vacations, gifts. I mean, we've all seen, you know, the husband coming home from work, hanging his uh, fedora up by the door and having a huge ribbon box with a fur coat inside for his wife while his kids are running around the kitchen. You know, today that's unheard of. Both parents have to work, you know, multiple jobs just to maintain an apartment. Children are often raised by grandparents or sadly alone by themselves. You now, by taking that value of currency and promising a better life for harder work. You know, that's almost all a Nazi mentality. You know, work will make you free. It doesn't, it enslaves you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I know we're going back in a bit, but we were talking about Mars before and about the slaves, but why don't they just um, advertise for people to go? Because I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to go. Oh, there'd be countless people who want to go but what purpose would they serve right now it's you can't just go up there and pop up your laptop and hop on youtube or skype no right now it's a defensive position it's a setting up a new place to be unfortunately it won't be for everyone so who would they take then? Would they just take people who are homeless and stuff? Uh, obviously they've got no skills. So they're going to have to take like top scientists and... So how are, they getting, how are they getting away with it? Are they cloning people on Earth and then taking the, the best people? No. They're sending people to establish an infrastructure. However, when everything is complete, those people, those investors, those important leaders, those generals, they're going to be gone. We're going to be left to deal with what we have here and what we've done to Terra. Well, you better marry into a good family then. Well, greed is a powerful thing, especially to these people. 
Honey, if it's I spray not, it don't obviously you turn okay, but girl in prison, you're going to be the prettiest girl at the ball. <laughs> I hope she can let loose of her fear. However, I do not think she will be back. I could be wrong. Well, that'd be like saying every blonde hair, blue eyed man is a a white elitist. Well, that's what they, they make out. Yeah, it's. That's how they brainwash It's a matter of perception. However, we all know that, you know, Andy, I don't see you living in a, a giant castle with, you know, stretched limousines with swastika flags. I mean, seriously. My granddad fought in World War Two. I- see, that's the other thing. You know, it's not about, you know, a privilege or anything. It's people who choose to do nothing will sit and complain about everything. But people who choose to do something have nothing to complain about yeah i mean i yes my channel is you know reptilian hybrid housewife but you know i too have a job i work from home and i manage contracts right so i mean work is a necessity to keep you from becoming cloistered and paranoid you have to have an outlet. Before you also I, have a sorry. way of means to support yourself. Yeah. I was a self-employed painter and decorator, and I was finishing, like doing ten-hour shifts and really hard graft. And then I was coming home making videos, you know. So if I can do it, there's people out there who don't even have a job and they're not attempting anything. My, my mum was an hard worker. She had two jobs. You know. Yeah. A strong work ethic is usually inherited and is observed by the offspring from the parent. Yeah. In the misinformation, I did validate that. Yeah. What about the, me? Do, do you not trust me? <laughs> I do trust you, Andy. You You're think- an unbiased. People that have their own personal experience with me know how I am. And you are one of those people. Yeah. And to those people, I have nothing else to prove. I am just here to share knowledge your channel's growing rapidly i noticed um let's see one thing and is um correct about is we tend to shy away from technology so and uh, one thing i'd like to address was the uh the fact that i use notes on my first interview yeah. I get a lot of comments about that. Yeah, that's fine. Just that. <laughs> the very first time I appeared on camera, that was very, very um, nerve-wracking for me. It was almost like a deer in the headlights. I just wanted to stare at the screen and not reply. And I was just honestly afraid of what would come of it. But everything turned out okay. Are you glad as you did it? As it usually does. Are you glad you did the but interview? I am. Everybody's like, oh, I don't see a ring on your finger. Oh, I've got rings. Some days I just choose not to wear them. This whole thing. And it's like, really, there's other things to be concerned about than well, what can... I'm wearing or what I'm doing or, well, you, you know. You call yourself if, housewife. If I'm fat so... or if I'm skinny or if I look weird or if... I sneeze. There's other things to be concerned about. And that's what I'm trying to address. It's reptilian hybrid housewife. You know, don't take that completely literal, but it's, you know, I am a housewife. <laughs> I work. <laughs> I'm a sorry and hybrid. So all that wouldn't really fit on the title. So I had to shrink it down a little bit. Yeah. Plus I, I like my logo. It's cute. <laughs> Facebook. Um, it's facebook.com forward slash reptilian hybrid housewife. And I'm working on trying to establish a actual website to do a blog, but um, that knowledge seems to escape me at the moment. Well, I can help you out if you need help. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Go 